What is up, everybody? We are back in Orlando. I'm very happy about it, if you couldn't tell. Um, I miss this gym. I worked out here yesterday. Obviously, I have been back for one day now. Um, and I was very happy. I worked out with my friend yesterday. Saw all my boys. Uh, I think a few of my boys are coming to the gym today. To One of the kids I'm actually competing against is coming to the gym today. But he is my boy. So... Um, he'll probably, I think he's deadlifting, so he might deadlift with me. We'll see. But I'm excited for that. Uh, I have SBD today. My last SBD before my meet. Because, okay, hold on. My other SBD is, um, my last SBD is this one because on next week I am not doing the uh, squat part of my SPD because I'm doing it on Wednesday. So the way my schedule is going to work next week is usually I would have my first day of the week, which is Friday, would be squat. Then Saturday I'd have bench and deadlift. And then Monday, or sorry, and then the next time I do anything big is Tuesday when I would have SPD, which is today. The last week, my meet is on Saturday. So my coach wants me to only have three days between me stepping on the platform and squatting. So I'm going to literally come to the gym on Wednesday, squat, and go home. That's really all I'm doing. No accessories, nothing. I have my tempo squat, my pause squats, and I go home. That's literally all I'm doing um, for that day. So this is the last actual SPD I have because that week I'm not squatting. I'll just have bench and dead. Um, we changed a little bit about how this day is going to work. So I don't know which one I filmed. I don't really remember. I don't know if I filmed any for this block yet, but if you remember last block, it started with this being sumo, this being three by six sumo with ascending sets, ascending like weight, same RP, same, same number of reps. Um, sorry, it was ascending RP with ascending weight, but it was same number of reps and same number of that so we changed that because i didn't want to do sumo to six is conventional super light like three by six and that also didn't really work last week i didn't like it and i felt like it was just fatiguing so this week i have a two by four conventional full reset rep so like every rep i step back reset fully so that should hopefully speed up my setup a little bit I have two sets of four of that, and then I have back downs three sets of six RDLs with a bar, which I've never actually, I've done before, obviously, but like, I have not done it on this program or with kilos. So that will be a little interesting. I don't know if I'm going to wear straps for that. We'll see how I feel after I do my top sets. But yeah, so deadlift should be way more fun today, honestly, because I have two by four, which is going to be, I am. it's pretty light it looked like, but still pretty light compared to what I was doing before is probably gonna be heavy because I was doing like 200 pounds before because it was so many reps and we didn't want myself to get hurt or anything and it was just kind of just for work but now I actually want to hone in on form and the full reset reps should do that for me while being relatively light because it's still only four reps so it should be decent um, I'm excited for that uh, and then I have hack squat which I haven't been able to do because I haven't had access to a hack squat every time I do this day I was doing belt squat instead, so I actually get to do hack squat today. And then I believe I'm going to do standing leg curl because that is my favorite leg curl machine in this gym. Uh, so I'll probably do that. Then I have some abs, which I can actually do ab machines because we have ab machines again. So really happy to be back. I'm hoping I can get a TSS bar, the TSS bar that we have in the gym, so that it's like really good practice. I'll ask if Bornstein's there. He's probably using it because he's only like six weeks out from his meet. Um, but I'll definitely be using it for deadlifts no matter what. I'd like to be using it for everything. We'll see if I can make that happen. Probably not. I'd like to, though, so we'll see. I am wearing a singlet also. You guys can't tell because I'm wearing shorts over it um, because I was just in Publix and wearing a singlet straight into Publix with no pockets is a little weird. So I'm excited. I'm really happy to be back. Um, today, my tempo is decently heavy. I don't have RPE for my tempo. It's just 115 to 120 kilo. So I'm probably just going to take 120 because last week it was like a three and we raised the weight a little bit. Um, and then I have a one by three pause squats at six. I probably take the same exact weight I take for my tempo. 
and then I have three by three back downs, and then I have a top set of three Larson with, I believe, three by three back downs, and then I told you guys how deads are already, so a really long day for me, but I expect that, and uh, it's okay, because I have no classes on Tuesday, which I didn't know until about yesterday, which is really nice, so yeah, um, I'm excited, wearing the singlet, this is the singlet I'll be wearing for squats in my meet. I'm not wearing the meat shirt. I haven't opened that yet. It's still in my package, but I'll be wearing this singlet for squats only. And then I'm going to change singlets for bench. I'm wearing a blue singlet for bench to match my shoes. And then deadlifts, I'm wearing a, like a Eclipse type singlet for May 7, which is nice. So yes, it's a little boozy. It's a little extra, but it's my first meet and uh, why not, you know? So whatever. All right. I'll see you guys in the gym. Last one up right here. I forgot to my belt on. That's it. And resets, so <laughs> this is kind of a first actual work set, but it's fine. All right, that's one. My belt is loose as shit. Holy fuck! All right, wait, that's why I'm stupid. There we go. All right, air it should be super 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 light my last one was air so. all right let's go Pause, same way. Need the pauses to be fucking good. Feels good. Two more. Here, you want to see what depth looks like? I got you. I don't want my knee. I got you with depth.
Press it, and then I um, can do my Larson and the Deads. Larson. Bench is feeling quite heavy right now. This is last warm up. And then we have a top set, which is actually a PR. Um, it should be at six. It should be a triple at six. This will be a single. This is 85, so only a 5 kg jump from the top set on purpose. You get the 5 kg jump and then. PR triple at six. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that night he's about to fly. Um, I did the wrong weight last set, so I gotta do two sets with this weight.
I have been here for a very, very, very long time. I still have to do all my rest of my deads. But it's alright. I get what's this is my last one up. And then we have two by four ascending reset reps. Two by four. Four resets. Ascending. Two ascending sets. Go. You got 10 kilo, do it again. Four ups. Now we've already else. I'm eating my lucky charms. Two by seven already else. I've been told to use straps, so. All right, bro. Oh. 
Oh, good, actually. Three sets, two more. Actually, feel really good. One more. Last set. And then we got hack squat. Alright. Finally. I have absolutely zero clue how heavy this is going to be. So. so I have two sets, six to eight. I'm hoping this is like a good weight. Might be really light, but pause it and see. We'll see. A good weight. No, I said that. This machine is heavy as hell. If I let it drop, it's not, but I'm trying to like control, um, like the bottom, bottom, like so I don't let it just bounce. This makes it pretty hard. We got eight. Come on. Okay. Nice standing like girl. And abs. Two sets. I need to leave Al and just broke my ankle. No, then I have abs. I lied. I don't have to leave. I'm not really trying to get a failure because I'm way too close to my for me to go failure and recovery and all that. So just like trying to do like two hours in reserve.
Oh, that's like a predator, so I'm only doing eight. I'm so gas. I'm just grinding right now. The form's not great, but okay. So yeah, like it feels like ten thousand pounds. I'm just like so tired. Ready to be done. <clears throat> All right, it's abs. Two sets of abs, and I'm leaving. Don't care how many I get. Really don't. I'm just ready to dip. Twenty-six. Just do another one of that. I'm leaving. Or you can say I'm quit my workout. Whatever. Phone's gonna die, and I'm absolutely gassed. So I'm just going till moderate pain, like people joke about. Genuinely serious though. Going till moderate discomfort, and I'm leaving. Matched. Let's go. I cannot wait to get home. Okay, this is about to be the shortest talk of all time because my phone's gonna die. But uh, let's just talk a little, like quick, 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 quick. So uh, first off, uh, that was four hours. Um, I'm literally exhausted. I cannot wait to be home. Uh, doing accessories after doing SBD is just like absolutely abusive. Um, but I already knew that, so. Yeah, uh, it's that, like literally four, like not exaggerating. That was four hour workout, three and a half hours of actually lifting, and about twenty minutes of stretching. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm dead. I'm I'm exhausted, literally exhausted. Want to go to sleep. Luckily, I have no class today, so it's not that big a deal. But I am uh, gassed. I'd like to cook. I don't think I'm gonna be able to cook. I have no energy to cook, so probably not going to do it to be honest. Um, that's where we're just going to go back, have a post-workout meal, shower, and just chill out. Maybe start to do some homework I have to do, but we'll see. I don't know. Tomorrow I get abused with class. Luckily, I don't work out tomorrow. And then Thursday I work out at night because uh, my classes are weird. But either way, super solid workout. Um, that was a PR in Larson, all-time PR. It was a 5 kilo PR, I believe. Or 2.5 kilo PR, but... Five kilos from last week at six. So starting over Larson is really well. Squats are really, really good as well. My coach thinks I sink too much. It means I'm going too low. So that I'll control when I do my top set on Friday with my all-time PR. Uh, hopefully not sink it as much. Just hit depth and then go up. It'll make me as strong as possible. And deads were good. Full reset. My coach hasn't answered me about my deads yet. But I like doing RDLs as back downs. They felt really good. So um, hopefully we keep those in. We probably will. And yeah, I don't know about the reset reps because it just makes it take really long. But it's that my setup gets faster, which I understand because my setup does take a long time. So, 
Anywho, solid workout. Uh, I'm exhausted. I don't think I'm going to film Friday or Saturday because I want to lock in. It's my last session of heavy anything before my meet. So I probably won't be filming just because I also don't like, not that I care. Like I said in my last video, I think I'm not like beating anybody in my meet. Like it's my first meet and my numbers are really bad. So it doesn't really matter. But like just for the sake of future, I don't want to record my top sets and then hit them in the meet. I'll, like the meet, I should have a video that I'll hopefully post that is a good video. But I'm not going to record the last week just because I want to keep those numbers private. And if I do post them, I'll post them on Instagram anyway. So um, if I film again, it will probably be this Thursday, which is my uh, my tempo day. Or I don't know. That's probably all I'll film because I'm not filming my primaries and I just filmed my SPDs. So I filmed my club script last session. So I'll probably just film my tempo day on Thursday and then probably have about a week off of videos and then after my comp I'll be back to normal but I might want to just chill this week to just prepare for a comp and just log in so sorry about that but I will see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed peace